Hey guys, what is up? Today we look at Gareth Bale. Now, Bale has been one of my favourite cards in FIFA for such a long time, until this FIFA. And you're like, huh? 85 rated? But then you look at his stats and his stats are still very, very good. Now, initially, Gareth Bale has been one of my favourite players in FIFA 17, 18, even 19 he was amazing, Espe especially in FIFA 18 I used him a lot, like this guy is a beast, to see him at 85 rated is shocking, but I am delighted to say Gareth Bale is still a very very good striker or a right winger in this game, now I use him left strike and the reason why is because he's got one of the best left pegs in the game and he is rapid, like even though he's 85 rated he's still really really fast like properly fast so once he's broken away there's no defender in the game catching him up and that is really refreshing because that is like Bale personified like Bale is somebody who is absolutely rapid and he was really clinical honestly that's why I really liked him he was really clinical he was a great finisher he did good work for me in foot champs as well so there was a lot about Bale I really liked I love his left foot that is one of the best left foots in the world of course Messi there as well another good thing about Bale was his assisting so not only was he scoring goals for me he was assisting as well which was really good and you know I love a player who can assist I don't like somebody who just can score goals because sometimes you got to assist it's a team game it's not a solo game even though a lot of things are individual you buy a player individually you want him to play as a team Gareth Bale was passing beautifully honestly he was such a good partner striker to Inaki Williams and there we go, you know, Bale clean as a whistle, finishing that off. So, really, really happy to say Bale was fantastic. His pace was brilliant, good dribbling, good shot, really good long shots as well. Even though the game doesn't support long shots, his dribbling was good. Stamina, 75. It's not, it's not, it's not the end of the world, trust me. Stamina was fine. I didn't have a problem with his stamina because he played end game and he was, uh, he was fine. Now, if my strikers, if I see my strikers are really tight, that's fine because I can always sub them off second half. So it's not an issue for me. 75 stamina was fine. Strength, brilliant. Honestly, he felt really strong. He felt like he could just barge through. I know this game doesn't support heading, but Gareth Bale's a great jumper. He's got great jumping. He's very athletic. I loved him, honestly. I really do. I think for under 100k, he's a steal. He was fantastic. I just think La Liga is the place to go this year because a lot of the players are in La Liga at the moment not playing very good. And I just feel like their price and their price has gone down. But that doesn't mean the players are bad because La Liga has consistently been one of the best leagues in the world. Especially in FIFA, they've been fantastic. So I think they still are fantastic. I think people are underestimating how good these guys are because I tell you what, Bale and Hazard have been nothing short than magnificent for me. Now, if Bale had a better weak foot, he would be truly unstoppable. Honestly, that's what I would say. If this guy had a five-star weak foot, this guy would be truly unstoppable. You, of course, want the ball on his left peg. Again, skills, he's fine. He can, he's got four-star skills, which is brilliant. It's just his weak foot that is an issue. But besides that, Bale is fantastic. He really is. Honestly, somebody I highly recommend. His runs in behind, his penalties, everything about him. He is a machine. Like that, that penalty, one of the best penalties I've ever took in my life. And Gareth Bale took that. So there's no doubt in my mind that if you guys have got about 100k and you're looking for a good right winger, Gareth Bale should be somebody that you're looking to buy because I tell you what in the La Liga they don't come as as better than Gareth Bale now Gareth Bale in my opinion I know I know Dembele's got a weak foot and five star skills but he's not got the strength of Bale and in this game I feel like having a strong striker is important because you should have confidence that no one can like barge them off easily like how many times I've seen Bale just barging through and no one's stopping him he just, he's like a battering ram, he just flies through and he's got a great pace, great physical, you've got confidence with him, but you know when you're playing with Dembele, anyone pushes him, they're on the floor, but again Dembele is very, very OP as well and he's right a third the price, he's like 33k, so he's a, a very good shout out and of course I would put it Dembele and then Bale and then Messi, of course Messi the king, 
but, but Messi costs 1.1 million coins or something. But look at that pace from Bale, that, that burst of pace is fantastic, really. I loved him, I love this guy, he's fantastic. What am I going to give out of 10? Seeing this card's on 100k and what he, what he performs, I'm going to give him a 9.8 out of 10 because I just think if he had a better weak foot, this card would be one of the most desirable cards and would be pretty much end game if he had a 4 star, 5 star weak foot. Thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe and peace out.